Good day YouTube, today we're going to talk about how to defeat Kang Jing Star. This is like my third run through and I defeated her. Not really a very perfect run, but I would like to run through my work process as well as some thoughts about it. So hopefully you can find that educational in your own battle against her. Right at the start of the battle, do stock up on your shock quelling powder because she uses a lot of lightning and very obviously this would be a very useful ingredient to counter her. Lightning resistance is key so that you can survive a little longer in this combat. I would propose that at the start you hide behind the rock which is a bit of a distance away from her and be prepared just to go in with red tide so that you have a chance for red tide to resurface again in the later half of the battle so with red tide it doesn't matter even if you get uh, a few of her initial lightning attacks land on you you can afford to lose the health but what you really want to do right is to hit her with as many light attacks as possible you want to execute at least one heavy attack to land properly on her so that would significantly reduce her health I follow up with a Wandering White earlier on so that maybe I might have a chance to use it again and as you can see, I reduce her blood down to a third. That's my usual strategy, the one that I use against the Yellowing Sage as well. So after this, she will turn into her Dragon Mode and she will start to spam AoE. I'm not doing a really great job here in avoiding her AoE attacks. Basically what you need to do is to just roll dodge. Lah. There will be signs to show you that the spear will be appearing near your location and you just need to roll dodge at the right moment. And she will be staggered a little bit when she returns to human form. Go in for the kill, but I would suggest just back off once you finish the third light attack. You do not have time to hit her with the fourth heavy attack because her recovery is really fast. So practice your roll dodge, go in, light attack as much as you can and now what you have to do is really just wait for her to turn to her next form. If you can, go in, a few light attacks, back out again, rinse and repeat. Wait for her hair to turn white because that will be when she will turn into her second form and that is where uh, Act 2 really begins for your attack, right? Keep a lookout on your stamina, keep a lookout on your potion and when the lightning comes, yeah, do avoid it. Now the long range attack switch you will definitely do somewhere around this stage right consists of flying daggers which they will do this arc and go up into the sky so that's the point where you need to roll dodge when it reaches highest. The first and second lightning bolt will follow very quickly one after another so you need to roll dodge two times consecutively and then the third, fourth and fifth one will be easier to dodge because you have some reaction time to see the pathway for the lightning. Okay, and then eventually after the attack, she will turn blue and she'll do another major upgrade AoE attack. This is the one where you just have to keep roll dodging. I don't think there's a space for you to actually rest and relax. And in this mode now, you've got to wait for a window to open where you can do pluck of the many. Go in and try to stagger her. I hope this heavy attack lands. Yes, it did. And now this is a time to use monkeys to come in and do battle. I should have used immobilize instead of cloud step, but anyway, it does the job. Let your monkeys do as much of the damage as possible and this phase you should try to look out to reduce her health down to the remaining 25% or 25-30% to 30%, hopefully. Another thing is you can also use a wind taming vessel that you got from chapter 2 to immobilize her temporarily one time so that's like a get out of jail card. Use whatever weapons and instruments you have at your disposal right, so that you can stagger her. So this is a time now where I did not successfully roll dodge some of the attacks like, which I should have done and made the battle a lot easier for myself. Or she'll start to spam AoE attacks, usual just roll dodge as much as possible. Use up all your spells if you need to, go in, light attack and now it's a matter of attrition. And see whether you die first or your red tide will resurface again because the red tide is really the one that will be able to turn the tide of the battle, pun intended. My red type should be ready anytime soon. I'm just spamming my roll dodge. And yes, red type baby. It cannot happen any sooner. So in I go and again the same strategy. Light attack, spam light attack as much as possible so that you can use at least one special attack to land on her. Sometimes it get a little difficult to close in on her. You end up using heavy attacks, right? Try not to do that. Just go close to her and then you start your light attack. As you can see, I landed that special attack so that reduced her blood down a great deal. Had that last lightning not hit me, I would have been in a much better position. But right now it's really 50-50 and I just go in, take a gamble and I managed to hit her with the final heavy attack. So I hope you enjoy my run through and my walkthrough with this particular boss. Hope you have good luck in your endeavors with this game. I see you in the next video. Goodbye.